So hi, I want to show you this new gadget that uh, I've bought. Uh, I will check later if this is from AliExpress or eBay. I think it was from eBay. So let's open it. This is, I don't know if you can recognize, but this is a tiny FM transmitter or you can call it a spy if you want to uh, hear sound from another room and you want to spy after someone so you can put it uh, in his room and then you go to regular FM radio and you find the tuning to the correct position of the frequency and you can hear everything so this is very very tiny you can see uh, my finger compared to to the size of this one maybe it will take something to measure it it's about three and a half centimeters uh, this is the length and the width is about a little high maybe one and a half centimeter this is the size of this small FM transmitter I don't know if you can notice, maybe I will zoom, I will talk about each of the components in this FM. If you seen my previous uh, video of uh, designing a long distance FM transmitter, so, so let's talk about the components that you see. Okay, of course this is the microphone, the input, and then you are going to several components, each of the black is uh, probably a transistor or a MOSFET I, I suspect that this is regular NPN transistor like 2N2222 or 2N3984 or something similar and here you have uh, the first stage is the amplification of the microphone and then you have another stage which is the uh, oscillator this is the FM oscillation of the main frequency and you can see here there is a tiny capacitor that you can change the frequency with a screwdriver prefer to use a plastic and not a metal but you can also use a metal uh, to adjust it and then you have another stage which is the antenna okay so you have here an LC tank probably this is the coil and this is uh, the capacitors so you have the main R frequency and when there is a sound so it is changing the main frequency uh, a little from side to side and this is how the FM is transmitted out so very very tiny uh, FM transmitter I uh, will later uh, I will connect it and then we'll see that it is working also something another special about this one that they claim that it works from 1 volt to 9 volt and they have uh, like a table for each voltage what is the distance or the, the power out of course if the voltage is higher so the distance that you can transmit is, is higher okay so the maximum allowed is 9 volt you can use regular 9 volt battery uh, we will also maybe measure the power consumption of this one and uh, that's all maybe I will later take out the circuit because the circuit is very simple you can track the PCB and take out uh, the circuit of this one it is more complicated of course to take the values of the components especially the capacitors the resistor you you can see them uh, for example 222 is uh, 2.2 kilo ohms and uh, this is how it goes so uh, later on i will try to take the circuit out okay this is the number of this fm this is a q something th radio can search for for this on the net maybe I will put a link where to find it okay so let's do the connection and test it what I did is connected uh, two batteries uh, 
two tiny batteries uh, CR2032 uh, lithium cells so maybe I will uh, change them because I think the voltage is, is not steady uh, maybe there are older ones so I will search for new batteries maybe need to order also these batteries from eBay I think it's the, the cheapest Aliexpress or eBay or whatever so this is a plus this is the minus and pack now it is closed so now let's try it out I have here a regular FM not digital because it is easier to tune it and uh, digital uh, is not easy to tune because you have to be on a very specific frequency so uh, let's try it Okay, you hear this is the frequency. Alto, alto swing. Alto, alto swing. Alto, alto swing. Of course, you have to have an antenna in order to make it work. I will try to put it upstairs and see if we can hear something. So. Okay, so overall this is not a fair test because there are many RF devices around me so the best thing will be to test it outside, let's say but uh, before this maybe, uh, maybe we will measure the power consumption so let's measure it By measuring the power consumption we can know how much time of course this FM can work uh, with a battery. So eventually it can work about 10 hours with a 9 volt battery, something like this. And uh, that's all later maybe I will connect it to 9 volt and check the distance outside in an open area to see uh, to see the distance that uh, it can give okay so of course if we will shrink the antenna to a smaller size like this so the distance will be much lower because you have of course a, a, on a longer antenna the distance will be higher then if using shorter antenna this is how it works because of the magnetic fields and how uh, they go over the air so basically i will try to test it in an open area and then I find uh, what is the distance so hope you enjoy thank you and bye